Disinformation is different when we do it. Immediately following the so-called January 6th riots, the Democrats and their media began spreading the lie that multiple officers had been killed during the event. They continued spreading this disinformation even weeks after the autopsy had proved he died of natural causes unrelated to the riot. Officer Brian Sicknick died after being hit in the head with a fire extinguisher during the hours long attack. They beat a Capitol Police officer to death with a fire extinguisher. Officer Brian Sicknick died after being hit in the head with a fire extinguisher during the fight. He died at the age of 42 after he was bludgeoned with a fire extinguisher. Mm, oh my God, stop fucking lying. True to form, the left repeated this lie so often that it just became established fact in the minds of many misled people. During last night's theatrical committee hearing, they further discredited themselves by spreading disinformation that went completely unchallenged by anyone on this sham committee or their media mouthpieces. When a former Oath Keeper spokesperson made several provenly false claims. Um, <clears throat> I... I think we need to quit mincing words and just talk about truths and what it was going to be was an armed revolution. I mean, people died that day. Law enforcement officers died this day. There was a gallows set up in front of the Capitol. This could have been the spark that started a new civil war. I think we need to quit mincing words and just talk about truths. The truth hurts, doesn't it? Oh, sure. Maybe not as much as jumping on a bicycle with a seat missing, but it hurts. I'm gonna shred these purveyors of disinformation, but first check out this free coin offer. The recent shootings, especially those in schools, is bringing about stricter gun reform bills. Congress has just passed the most significant gun reform bill we've seen in decades. But as we all know, bad guys will always have access to guns. Unfortunately for law-abiding citizens, the Second Amendment has never been more at risk of being infringed than this year. A new site is showing their support for the Second Second Amendment to create change and you can get in on it too. The support the second coin usually retails for $24.95 but it's currently free for a limited time to bring awareness to the issues affecting gun owners today. Get your free Second Amendment coin today by going to www.supportthesecond.com. That's www.supportthesecond.com. Support gun owners, gun rights, and the Second Amendment. Um, <clears throat> I... I think we need to quit mincing words and just talk about truths and what it was going to be was an armed revolution. I mean, people died that day. Law enforcement officers died this day. There was a gallows set up in front of the Capitol. This could have been the spark that started a new civil war. Do you believe this story? Unreal! He says, quote, we need to quit mincing words and just talk about truths. Literally everything he says after that is either disinformation or hypothetical scenarios that never took place. First, let me destroy this false claim that there were functional gallows at the Capitol that were to be used on Mike Pence. This is a lie. The gallows were not functional. It was purely symbolic. Just look at these pictures. If any of these people went up that ladder, they would stand above the actual noose. It's a miniature gallows. A prop, much like we've seen over and over from Democrats when a Republican is in the White House. Next, not a single officer died that day as a result of the riot. One died the next day of natural causes and some others committed suicide. I put air quotes on that that you didn't see because it seems highly unusual to me that so many officers would end their own lives after one riot. And it was actually a pretty mild riot, at least compared to the insane, sustained left-wing riots in cities like Portland. Moving on, he he claims that they were there to start an armed revolution. The only problem is only around 12 people were arrested with legal handguns. But other than that, out of hundreds of people, nobody was armed with anything except maybe a flagpole. Which, by the way, these people consider armed. As usual, they're trying to paint a mental picture in people who don't know any better when they say armed insurrection. It's a lot like mostly peaceful or assault weapon. Let's also not forget that the only person there who was shot was an unarmed Trump supporter named Ashley Babbitt, who was literally 
surrounded by police and did not need to be shot. Then lastly, he finishes by saying, quote, this could have been the spark that started a new civil war. It could have been a spark to start world peace. It could have been the time that aliens decided to invade Earth. In fact, the Democrat riots between 2015 and 2020 could have sparked a civil war. Getting rid of the Electoral College could spark a civil war. But the Democrats and the media seem really excited about doing that. Who cares what this guy's hypothetical speculations are? I don't care. None of that ever happened. But it just goes to show what a totally partisan, one-sided farce these hearings are. Notice how nobody in the media is correcting this disinformation? Instead, they're just reporting it like it's true, including this NBC reporter who willingly tweeted it out. I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but never, ever trust the media or politicians. All right, folks, go out there and share this video. Maybe we can snap some people out of their Orwellian media-induced haze. Also, make sure to punch that like button, subscribe, and vent some frustration by leaving a comment. Thanks a lot.